tonight to have a Hall of Fame induction into the Mariposa Folk Foundation Hall of Fame. It's not something that we do every year, but tonight we have three inductees. So the mission of the Mariposa Folk Foundation is the promotion and preservation of folk art in Canada through song, story, dance, and craft. We recognize the many supporters for their long-term dedication and commitment to the betterment of the Mariposa Folk Foundation, but not just Mariposa, to the folk industry in general. And these inductees have a long, long history of, I'm a newbie compared to them, they have a long history of a contribution to Mariposa and to folk. We're also inducting the travelers into the Mariposa Folk Hall of Fame tonight, and with us we have Jerry Gray representing the Travelers, so we'll show his clip. How many times must a man look out before he can see the sky? Yes, and how many ears must one man have before he can hear people cry? How did you get to be hired for the first Mariposa? Well, they hired who was available yeah. and it was supposed to be start as a local thing but we were a national group by that time. We'd been across the country several times and uh, they wanted somebody who was A, local and B, national as well to give it some right. and it wanted had to be Canadian as well. And so what was the very first one like? In the beginning it, we, were, we, we didn't know what, what we were doing. We muddled through it. It rained the first day of the yeah. performance. For the first time, we were making, uh, just discovering what Canadian folk music was and give it a future. Say amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. So, who were the part? Those you and who were the other mem One, original members? The original people of, of the yeah. Travelers were my sister Helen, mm -hmm. who was two years ahead of me, Jerry Goodis, who became the biggest ad man in Canada, and uh, there was Oscar Ross, and there was uh, Sid Dalgay, who played a mando cello. So, how many times did the Travelers play Mariposa? Either the Travelers or myself played at least 16 times. What are your most enduring mem memories of, of the Mariposa Festival? Well, we all stayed at a group of motels just on the edge of town. I can't remember the name of it. And we all were playing baseball in, the, in between. We were the gigs that we were on. Yeah. And everybody helped each other out. What has Mariposa meant for your musical career? Well, for me, it was a, you know, it was a place like home. We were the first. It was yeah. our baby. We, we were the hosts for the first three years. It was just a feeling of, of, of reverence that we had yeah. for Mariposa. How does it feel to be inducted into the... Mariposa Hall of Fame. Well, it's a great, great honor. I've had a whole bunch of awards. In the year 2000, the Toronto Musicians Association uh, had never made a, a lifetime award. And I, the Travelers were the first people uh, and uh, partnered with Bo Kaufman, who was posthumous with that because he died previously. And that's why I'm looking forward to this one while I'm still alive. folks. Founding members consisted of Jerry Gray, Sid Dolgay, and singers Helen Gray, Jerry Goodis, and Oscar Ross. In 1965, singer Joe Hampson joined the group, and I'm honored to say we have his daughter Randy Hampson with us today. Thank you. <laughs> Under Gray's leadership, more than a dozen singers and instrumentalists were associated with the group. Modeling themselves after Pete Seeger's group, The Weavers, the band had tremendous success in a nation that seemed reluctant to promote homegrown talent. Led over the years by banjo player Jerry Gray, Jerry, the group has sung about and promoted values related to labor. Over their long career, the group has sung and, uh, about solidarity, peace, civil rights, and social justice, values also opposed, exposed by the Mariposa Folk Festival. In addition to their labor and children's material, the Travelers' repertoire included traditional Canadian and U.S. folk songs some First Nation songs, and contemporary titles by Wade Hemsworth, Gordon Lightfoot, and others. Their musical body of work reflects the social responsibility and inclusion inherent in Canadian values and in the stated values of Mariposa. 
Throughout the 60s and 70s, they were featured performers at a number of special national events, including our own festival. They also acted as international music ambassadors on many occasions. They have made an historic contribution to Canadian folk music and the Mariposa Folk Festival. So congratulations to the travelers, Jerry and Randy. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's been a wonderful time, 40, from 1961 to the present, that's 59 years, 59 years. The Travelers were a group for eight years previous to that, and what happened is on the, the day we were inaugurated, we, missed, we met Pete Seeger, who started us on our career, and at that point, the uh, Pete Seeger was blacklisted, as was the song, This Land is Your Land. Pete gave it to us and he said, in Canada there's no blacklists, change the words if you have to, which we did, and we've been singing it for all those years right up to the present. And that's the thing, and Mariposa, at the first three Mariposas, we closed every single concert, and everybody sang with us, this land was made for you and me. Thank you. My dad played here many, many times. He loved this festival. He loved coming to it. He found a platform with the Travelers where he could do what he loved to do and create music that he got to share with you. And I'm honored that his music is continuing to be shared today. So thank you very, very much. Let's give a big hand to the 2019 inductees into the Mariposa Hall of Fame.